Rebel. Well, how did you like school? I like school fine. Yeah, yeah I you like enjoyed it? Fine, yeah. And Trudy, what about you? Oh, yeah, I like school. Okay. I think I like high school better than grade school. I think I like grade school better than but I went to the, I, we both went to our, our girls' school because it was where well, our mother had gone and our aunt and um, I, don't, I didn't fit too good there. I ended up dropping out of high school to get married. Um, you know, a lot of family history that we don't have to go into, but I dropped out in my junior year to get married, and I was not pregnant. No. <laughs> 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 but then I went back, you know, when my kids were fairly young and got my GED, and then went on to do some college courses and was to get my, my LPN. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I, basically, I like school. It was, I didn't drop out because I didn't like school. I dropped out because it was, you know, I wanted to get married. Our family was falling apart. And, mm. you know, my husband was ten years older than I, and it, you know, I just just one of those things. Uh huh. Yeah, hard to explain. Probably. So, yeah, a lot about the kind of times. Well, tell us a little bit about your parents and what the family was like. And You go first. Oh, well, our father was a newspaper man. And I guess from my point of view, you know, he dominated the, the, the family. Uh, he, he spent a lot of time telling sto all the st stories about things that was going on in the world. And, uh, I remember we always had a telephone. A lot of people didn't back in those days because he uh, was always covering uh, stories and he worked for the United Press and so he had to, was on the phone a lot. And, but they had a wire service back in those days but you still had to go to Western Union I think to mm. old-fashioned way of doing things. But, uh, and our grandparents lived, well, a stone's throw away from us, right on the corner of the same street we lived on. So I remember spending a lot of time with them. And I remember my, my father and my grandfather arguing about politics all the time. This was I, your father's parents or your mom's? No, my mother's. We never knew our father's parents. My, my grandmother died before I was born. That's how I got stuck with them name I got stuck with. <laughs> well, he believed was that her name? Lillian was her name. Yeah. Uh -huh. And my other grandmother's name was, what was it? Sarah, Sarah. Gertrude Pedetta Bishop Sisson. So they picked Gertrude out of that. Actually, how I got be, to be called Trudy was because my grandfather said, that, you know, that's a terrible name to give a little girl. So he said, I'm going to call her Trudy. So everybody else did too. So. Huh. Gave me a good name. In his name, we called him Gumpy. I don't yeah, remember right. why, but we called him Gumpy. Oh, Gumpy. our father invented that oh, name. He, he was didn't. always inventing words. Yes. Do you remember what he called my grandmother? Beezle Bubba. <laughs> we used to call her Old Bees, and I didn't even know what that meant. I was married before I realized that he was he was calling my grandmother the devil. You know, <laughs> I, 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 that's how dumb I was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, Naive. Do you think you, you had a pretty innocent childhood? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> Absolutely. Very, yeah. yeah very Except for, for for the stuff my father brought home. Like, he, he'd buy all the best-selling books, you know, and then he'd tell me I couldn't read them. But I read them anyway, you know, like Lever to Heaven and, uh, what was that other one? They, Oh, a tree grows in Brooklyn and stuff like that, you know. He, he liked Ben Ames Williams and you know, a lot of the one that wrote The Road and stuff like that, so. So did you r love reading a lot when you were a kid? Yeah, I used to read a lot. I used to like to read his, historical novels and stuff like that, but uh, then after I I got married, I got introduced to, to the science fiction of that day, and then after that, I, I, you know, I kind of like to read science fiction, science and stuff like that. Hmm. Hmm. So, but anyway. So yeah, how did you like your grandparents? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, I, well, I like, I like them. I enjoyed them. My grandfather was, was great. He was 
supposed to take this berry picking. Yeah, Grumpy was a great flower picking and uh, you know all the mm. things we like to do. He, do you remember he could pick up bumblebees? Oh yeah, and four leaf clovers. He could just reach down and pick up the four leaf clover. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Well. He was a neat guy. Yeah. Yes. Our grandmother yeah. was a little straight laced. Uh, she was a Christian scientist, and she was. Uh, she didn't budge in the morning if if her hair wasn't just so and etc. You know, she wouldn't come out of her room. She was. She was always the lady. She always wore the corset and the. You know, oh yeah, she used to tell yeah. tell us if we didn't wear corsets and we didn't do this, we were going to grow up and be, you know, all out of shape and whatever. Which I never believed, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but but she was the best cook ever. <laughs> yeah. What were the favorite things that you liked that she made for you? Oh, let's see. She used to make the greatest beef stew and she used to make some kind of goulash that I was just, I was over there. I remember our cousin Del and I, I mean we used to eat and I she used to make blueberry shortcake and blackberry shortcake and oh, just anything she made tasted good. That's one thing she she did well was she cooked. <laughs> well she learned to cook because she, she came from Canada. She came to this country when she was like 15 and she, uh, her parents ran some kind of a, was it a logging camp where she literally, she had to go to the stream and haul the water to the logging camp and she had to do a lot of the cooking for the men. I mean, she worked like, oh, I know that. yeah, she worked really, really hard and she yeah. ran away from there and oh. came to the States. That's how she went hungry. Oh. Yeah, when she was about 15, I mean, she just, um, she was too hard to a slave up there. <laughs> wow. And so, where did she meet Gumpy? I'm, I'm not sure. Someplace in Massachusetts um, where he was living. I'm not sure how they met, to tell you the truth. That part of the story I don't remember, but I remember that she left home when she was like 15 because she just worked so hard. Um, and all of our relatives were really intelligent, you know, people for the amount of schooling and stuff that they had. Um, Gumpy was, uh, was a little Anna was a real smart person, and our mother, she had some education, but in those days, what did she go to school for one year to be a, to be a teacher? It, was, it wasn't when you had to have a, a degree and stuff and to be a school teacher. I think she only went to school after, after high school for one year. She was real smart when she was in, um, when Ma was in um, WMI, she won the, you know, the gold piece for, for Latin, for excelling in Latin. She was... Um, she was a real scholar. Yeah, she made me take that. I needed it every yeah. I know, I know. But she was a real scholar. She uh, she wrote well. She spoke well. Um, hmm. So she taught school yeah. while you were growing yeah. up? No. no she she stopped married. before yeah, that? She taught in one of those one room school houses. Yeah. yeah. In Connecticut, uh, down towards Pasco Haven. No, no walk? I think it was no walk. Now, once she got married, she didn't. She never worked again until after our father died, and then she had to work. But because by then you needed a degree, she didn't go back into teaching. She should have. She could have, and she should have, but she didn't. Um, so she always did. She worked in the Lawrence Hospital as a um, dietitian in the diet kitchen. She wasn't a dietitian, but she worked in the diet kitchen as a dietitian because in those days, again, you didn't need a degree, and she was always. Um, she was always fascinated with food, particularly, um, you would have loved her, Lisa. She was always into health food, always. Huh? Us kids were brought up on raw milk and whole wheat bread, and she didn't allow us we to We never saw a hamburger or a piece of candy or anything. Right. Absolutely. She was, uh, 